Hey guys, thanks for downloading my ebook. Really appreciate it. I love that you guys have been writing to me, telling me about how motivated you are and how things are starting to change in your life. That's incredible. I love hearing about that. Keep letting me know what's going on because it motivates me too, because I have my own personal goals. All right, so this is the knowledge bomb for today. If you listen to the end of this, it will change your life completely. You will understand what you need to know about food in order to survive over the long term. A lot of you yo-yo diet, a lot of you try fads, a lot of you try to lose weight and it just fails every single time. I did the same thing. I kept trying to lose weight over a period of years, trying all these different types of diets, getting successful, losing a bit of weight and then putting it all back on. And that was frustrating. So if you learn these things, you will be able to lose weight forever. So these three tips I'm going to give you, you need to watch to the end. So the first thing you need to understand about food is that we have, it's, it's built up of three main ingredients. The makeup of food is three main ingredients. And those ingredients are fats, carbs, and also proteins. So these are the three things that are in every bit of food that goes into your body. This is energy. And I'm, I'll explain that over an email, but I want you to understand that this is energy and this type of energy is broken down into three simple factors. So the first factor is fat. We've got good fats. This is really simple guys. I'm just going to explain this really quickly. We've got good fats and we've got bad fats. So things like good fats are avocado oil, uh, coconuts, oil, coconuts, avocados, uh, peanut butter, Stuff like that. So good fats are really good for you. Good fats are actually what control your hormonal system. So if you've got uh, if you've got hormonal issues in your life, you need to make sure that you're eating a lot of good fats because they're the things that are going to make sure that you're fully healthy. So good fats, you understand that now. The next principle is bad fats. So those are things that are deep fried, um, things like bad oil, like. Uh, yeah, bad, the, the stuff that you deep fry. So all that stuff is kind of like bad fats for you. You've got to stay away from that stuff because your body hates them. It doesn't process them well, holds on to the energy from them and creates a lot of fat for you. So you need to start eliminating bad fats out of your diet. The second thing you need to exp understand is that there are also two types of carbs. So you're seeing a pattern here. We've got good carbs and bad carbs. Guys, and the reason I'm, I'm the reason I'm explaining this stuff is because you will, if you don't understand this stuff, you'll go on any fat diet, high carb diet, and and oh sorry, uh, high fat diet. So you'll go on low carb diets. Guess what, guys? This it, carbs are responsible for your metabolism system. So if you're going on a low carb diet, you are impacting your metabolism, which you do not want. You want a firing metabolism. You want to be able to eat a lot of food because as soon as you lose your weight and as soon as you lose your, a little bit of demotivation from those fad diets and you go back into the world and you start eating like you used to, your metabolism is even worse. So you're going to put on even more weight than you ever had. That's why when you yo-yo diet, you don't lose weight and then gain it to where it was. You gain more weight because your metabolism is even worse. So you need to eat a good amount of carbs. So uh, complex, so not, not complex carbs. So th good carbs are things like brown rice, brown spaghetti, even Bra anything that's brown, like whole wheel, whole meal, all that stuff's really good for you. So brown carbs are really good. That's the easy way to remember. Bad carbs are things that are white. So white bread, uh, white rice, all that kind of stuff. If it's white carb, don't eat it. Sugar. Sugar is really bad for you. Sugar is very, very bad for you. Just give that up straight away. Replace it with things like honey, which is low GI, which means that it has a slow burn over a long period of time rather than a quick energy boost, which is what you don't want. You want things that slow burn over a long period of time to fire up your metabolism. So the next thing you need to understand is you need to understand protein. Protein, you know what that is. It's like chicken, beef, uh, pork even. So if you follow this recipe, follow this recipe. When you eat, you need to eat Protein with good carbs and good fats. If you follow that kind of diet methodology, I promise you, you will see results. Because this makeup is what your body needs in order to operate and have a firing metabolism. So give up those fat diets, give up those uh, meal replacement shakes, that stuff ain't good for you. It's not going to help you over a long period of time. The only way to change your life is to completely transform your mind. So if you've got Anything that you want to achieve in your life, it is all to do with what is in your mind. Get educated, read about it, make sure that you do your own research because I can't do this stuff for you. Learn about it, get passionate about it. If you want change, you've got to get passionate about it. So you need to do this 
stuff for yourself. I'm giving you a little bit of a key here to be able to push you on your journey, but you need to want it yourself. So if you incorporate all this knowledge into a good diet, you will make you will get results. You will 100% get results. So diet is the most important thing. Once you understand these principles, then you can go on a diet for a short term period in order to receive optimal results. So there's, there's diets that you can do that help increase your metabolism for like a, a quick burn. There's diets which help you get ready for shred, shredding in the gym. There's lots of diets that you can work effectively for you because they're very motivating, absolutely. But it has to follow these fundamental principles. If you're going on a high fat diet to lose weight, that's going to lead to a disaster. If you're going on a low carb diet to get, you know, to survive and to lose your weight, you will be a disaster and you will yo-yo. Unless you do follow these principles, that is the only way you're going to see change. So remember, diets are the most important thing. If I find a diet that I think is good for you guys in the next, in the next couple of days, I'll send it over to you. But I think that if you understand this stuff, you will see your results. So guys, keep getting up in the morning, keep making sure that you're going to the gym, keep tweeting me, keep letting me know how you're going. Some of the guys that have written to me have said that they, you know, they were really struggling to keep motivated, to keep going, to get their change, and reading my story help them get motivated. So you know what? If I can motivate others to do the same, then I've done my job. So learn this knowledge bomb, get across it, get on a good diet, understand exactly what it is you need to, to succeed, and we will get you there. So thank you for subscribing. Off it help. Yeah.